do you have room for all the stuff that you have? Now, this is a frightening question. This is a really frightening question because a lot of the people that I've worked with over the years came to the realization that they did not have room for all of the stuff that they had. So what did they do? They bought bigger homes. <laughs> I kid you not. They bought storage units. They bought sheds that went out behind their home. Uh, I cleaned home for a woman who bought the house next door to her as an overflow house for all of the stuff that she had in house number one. So now she had house number one and house number two, and they were side by side. And I had to clean them both. She hired me to clean them both. And yay, it was a blessing for my business once I started the house cleaning business because I needed the money and it was an, another house to clean. But it was literally an overflow house from the first house that she had. We've cleaned houses for a lot of people that say, oh, I've got all this stuff. We need to put this in shelves. And they get, they put shelves up inside their house and every single wall in their house has shelves on it. And they put the stuff in boxes. And then guess what? They've cleared away the empty space and their comfort zone is having their space full. So what they do is they go out and they buy more stuff that now takes up the space so they can't even get to the shelves that they put on the sides of the walls. We have people that are like, I am so organized to check me out. They rent a van or they rent a pod. These great big pods that they drop in your driveway. They move stuff into the pod and they haul the pod away. Never to be seen again. Do you know how many people actually never go back inside their pod after it gets carted off their property? They go put it in a storage unit somewhere and get the pod down from the stack because they stack them on top of each other. By the time they get the pod down, there's like some fee. Oh, I'm not going to pay the fee to get in there. I only need a couple of items. They go buy the items all over again, never to get inside the pod again. And the people that do get inside the pod and they bring it down, they realize, oh, that was just a lot of work. I had to call in advance. I had to call the day before. Sometimes I need things at the last minute. And it's, it becomes not as convenient as just running to the store and buying that stuff all over again, right? So are you shopping and is it a bargain or is it a burden? And my reality is it might be a burden without you even knowing it. I know that for me, I moved to a bigger house. I did the exact same thing that all the people I was cleaning houses for did. Oh, this house is too small for us. I'll move to a bigger house. Through the course of my life, I've moved to multiple homes. And every single time I moved to a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger house. The house that I live in right now is about 6,000 square feet. The thing about the house is right now, everything I have has a place and everything is in its place. Yay, I have arrived, right? No, no, not at all. I bought a bigger house and I found a place for all my stuff, most of which I don't use. And if it's behind a closed door, like it's in a cupboard and the cupboard door is closed, it's easy to never look in that cupboard again. It's out of sight. It's out of mind. If you're not seeing it and you're not using it, what is going to ever remind you that you have it? What is going to remind you that you ever can use it? So we did this thing on Clutter Corner several months back where we were going to go through our small kitchen appliances. And this is things like toasters and ovens and you know, panini makers and George Foreman grills and whatever. And if you asked me, if you asked me before that show, Angela, how many small kitchen appliances do you have? I would have said six. And I would have come up with six being generous on it's probably four or five, but maybe six. Did you know that I had over 47 small kitchen appliances when I pulled them out from all of the cupboards because they're hiding, okay? They're hiding in the cupboards and I got a lot of cupboards. But I had two of the same exact crock pot, and I thought it was the same crock pot that I only had one of them, and I just thought I'd put it away in a different spot. I actually had two. They were identical. And then I found two more identical crock pots of a different style. And then I had two more identical crock pots of yet a different spot style. And if you ask me about my crock pots, I knew, I knew that I had about nine crock pots because I used about nine of them at once. But I had 18 crock pots when I pulled them all out. And I sat there going, oh my goodness, how did I end up with all these crock pots? I knew that I had a sewing machine and a serger. But when I pulled everything out, did you know that I actually had three sewing machines and I have no idea where the third one came from? I've been asking every, all my employees, like, did anybody bring a sewing machine and drop it off of my house? Where did this third sewing machine come from? Because I knew about the two of them. I did not know about number three. I did not. It was, it, it, it's a ghost sewing machine in my house. But what's really peculiar about it, it was in the sewing machine cabinet with all of the sewing machine stuff. So I'm really, okay, where, where did that come from? Somebody somewhere brought it and left it, or I, I don't remember, so maybe somebody gave it to me and I went and I put it away or something, but I did not know I had a third sewing machine. 
Okay, I do not need three. I can only use one at a time. But the reality is I have a lot of stuff that I don't need, I'm not using, and just because I have a place for it does not necessarily make it okay to have, okay? In my house, it's all stored. I'm not paying for an extra storage unit for this stuff. There's a place for all of it, okay? But the question is, do I really need it all? And the answer is no. And now that I'm downsizing again, I'll probably go to a smaller house this time. I'd like to get rid of a lot of the stuff I have, which is why we're having this conversation. As I'm becoming clear about the reasons I have my stuff, do you have room for it all? Maybe you do. And good for you if you do. Good for me. I do. But do I need it all? Now we're changing our relationship with stuff and we're changing our comfort zone with the stuff. Does that make sense? 